guess the intro. Uh, it's Friday. Today it's Friday. Is, today is Friday. Today is Friday, that's it's it. It's Nick again. Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Tally Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, I've got one of my students down here, Lisa, say hello. Hi. Lisa's a beginner student. Uh, she's been working with me for about four months. Uh, we've done about 10 lessons in that time, so she's had plenty of time to kind of work on a game and practice. I thought I'd share with you some of the things that we've done in her lessons that's going to help you as kind of, if you're new to the stack and tilt system, if you're new to playing golf, there's some really good tips that's helped Lisa. She started as a complete beginner. Okay, pretty awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just having a look at this video right now. It's, uh, you guys, you got to see this. So this is Lisa's, got to see this. First time at a golf range. She's indoor simulator here in Singapore. This is her swing when she first started. You won't believe the transformation. You can see just the way she's standing, the way she's holding it. So when we started here at Golf Tech, we started off a lot at the beginning in terms of just setting up to the ball, like just the way you hold it, the way you stand is super important. So as we go through this video, I'm gonna kind of put in some snapshots of things that we've kind of done and where we started as we talk through this, just so you guys can have an idea. Um, in today's video, we're gonna then take a look at three tips that's gonna help Lisa. We're also gonna take a look at her swing today to see what's happening in her shots and hopefully help her play better golf. So we've got the Golf Tech Optimotion cameras on Lisa right now. So we're gonna be taking a look at her swing today, see what happens to kind of the contact, the ball flight, direction, see what there is needs to be done to help her improve. So let's take a look. Not much by the looks of that. That was awesome, Lisa. Feel good? Where did the contact feel there? Pretty close to the middle? Yes, I, I, I feel like I think it's just right in the middle. Okay, Lisa, we're going to take a look um, at your first lesson here. Do you remember this lesson? Uh, yeah, I really remember it. It's like, it's the first time I, I come and then I hold the, the golf club, so... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, I remember like you like this was actually your first swing and to be fair guys we did a little bit of work on her setup here if you've seen that yes. video a minute ago the way she stood it's completely different now so we've changed the setup a little bit now one of the things we looked at in this lesson was the grip and we've looked at that a lot as we've gone through the lessons I just thought I'd just play this swing out just so you can kind of see I'll just play it out kind of in slow motion at the moment so I'll put up these sway numbers just how the body moves so you can see there's a lot of arm bending uh, you can see how the head moves from the face on camera, we've got the sway numbers there. By the time she gets to the top of her swing, like her shoulder sway there has moved like almost five inches to the right. And you can see how the arms are bent. So we've had to build like a better structure here by learning how to tilt the shoulders, how to turn properly without kind of swaying and bending the arms. You see this a lot in new golfers that start. They kind of have this idea that they have to move their body weight to create kind of power. So in today's video, we're gonna kind of go through what things help Lisa transform from this swing to where she is now because she's done an amazing job so i just thought i'd just show you that and then as we come through the ball here arms are quite bent she manages to kind of control her head position from the front view there and the side view pretty well but arms are very bent now you can see there wasn't too much power in this swing although it's slightly better than that first one you sent me <laughs> okay now we have today's uh, last swing that we just saw that shot is pretty good um, on the screen i've just pulled up the speed numbers um, that's pretty impressive, eh? 44 miles an hour to 64. So really improved the club head speed, the power in the swing. So how have we done that? Well, first of all, it's set up here. We've made some changes. Uh, we've narrowed the stance on the right here. Uh, the feet are slightly turned out, knees are turned out. We've worked hard on Lisa's grip. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's so much better than what it was. You can see how the kind of the hands were separated on the grip there when she swung back. It was very hard for her to kind of use her wrist here. If you're if your hands are separate on the club, it's a lot harder to kind of hinge and move the body in the right way to create leverage. So you can see the difference in kind of the way her wrist moved back here. This also helps her maintain a kind of stable position. She's kind of, we're starting to work on the tilt of the swing and there's still some things here that we need to kind of work on. But you can see the difference in the arms. Like by the time we get near the top of the swing, how she's kept this head like super stable compared to the one on the left with the arms bending a lot. And when you get down to this point in the downswing, you can see the difference here between the kind of the lead arm and the shaft, right? She's got this club laying back. This is definitely going to create a bit more whip and speed into the ball, help her control uh, the contact as well. We've worked hard on her arms and that's pretty good, Lisa. You happy with that one? Yes. That's Love pretty it. good. <laughs> Thank like, you. Coming through, like her arms, is something we've worked on a lot and I'll probably share some pictures of lessons that we've done as we go through this video. 
but you can see a difference in her hip movement, her arms. So amazing job from the front view. Looking at the side view now, you can see how she bends forward. This gives her space to kind of let her arms hang. Um, I think the setup there is pretty good. So let's take a look at the, the swing. The difference here is we take the club back. So you can see Lisa's kind of head moving here. The way she moves her lower body here is going to be completely different. So let's take a look at this as we take the club back. She moves the hands more around her body. As we get to the top of the swing, you can see how the arm positions along the line of the shoulders. Big difference in the lower body there with the kind of the knee flex, the shoulders, huge difference there. And then the kind of the angle of the swing is something that we've worked on a lot. Uh, we saw today the angle was coming in slightly inside out. This one was what we call slightly outside in as it came into the ball. So the angle of the swing is much better than body movement here incredible through the ball compared to where it was so huge difference let's just put these two videos together let's play them out just you, I'll just play them out together so you can see how much faster this swing was this one on the right so awesome we're going to talk through three things that's like transformed uh, Lisa's swing things that have really helped her kind of progress to get to where she is in 10 lessons you saw the difference in the swing huge difference so first thing we um, took a look at was the setup so the way you hold the club is so important. I mentioned in the video how that can affect how you use your wrist. As Lisa held the club, she had a kind of hand separated on the grip. So we're going to take a look at Lisa's grip now. So first of all, Lisa, you just place your left hand on. So as the left hand goes on, it's slightly across the fingers, that slight angle. We're going to place the thumb to the right side of the grip. This is very important. This is going to help her kind of hinge her wrist, right? We saw in that first video there, she didn't really use her wrist, doesn't create any leverage in the swing, doesn't create power. So where that left hand is positioned is crucial. The thumb here is just slightly past the knuckle of the index finger there. So that's another kind of key checkpoint. Now when Lisa puts the right hand on, she's gonna put this in the fingers and then she's gonna cover the thumb with the pad of her right hand. And then we have this right knuckle that sits on the right side of the grip. So this is Lisa's new grip. This has made a transformation in kind of how she moves the club and creates power in the swing. Next thing we look at is the setup. So as Lisa sets up to the ball, we are making sure she kind of bends forward from the shoulders, her head's looking down at the ball. The shoulders are rounded here and her arms are pretty straight. She's also got a little bit of knee flex uh, just to help with the balance there. So this is Lisa's setup change and obviously a big difference in kind of where she started at day one to where she is now. So how you hold the club, how you stand are quite crucial. We're gonna take a quick look at this from the front view as well. So Lisa, if you just switch around, Set up to the ball here. We've got the feet turned out, the hands are forward, arms are pretty straight. Where would you say your body weight is, Lisa, in your it's, feet? It's mostly in this side. Yeah, so yeah. Lisa's got a weight maybe 60, 70% on the left side. If you're new to golf, new to the stack and tilt system, having the weight on the left side here is quite crucial. You saw the difference in the way Lisa set up before and how she moved and swayed her body. That made it really hard for her to control her contact, especially as a new golfer. So how you set up, how you hold it, are crucial to play good golf. We talked there about setup, how crucial that is to kind of build in a good golf swing. Next thing we looked at was kind of uh, Lisa's head movement. Like, this is something we've worked on in a lot of lessons. I uh, hold her head in position and like, how does that help you with your shots, Lisa? Because obviously, I think you said to me, when I hold your head, you tend to hit better shots, right? Yes, it's always uh... <laughs> Now, is there a drill that you use, Lisa, like to help you develop that feel, like for the movements? Because obviously, the way you turn your shoulders, you said to me, it feels like you're like, kind of tilting the shoulder. Yes. Is there a drill that you use that kind of helps you develop that feel? Yeah, sure. Actually, I at home, I was practice to put my head on a word and then to keep my head stable and then move my hip forward okay yeah and tilting my shoulder more okay so yeah so yeah lisa uses the head on the wardrobe and i've posted this in some videos before you may have seen it so we're going to take a look at lisa's um drill here where she has the head on the wall just to see how she kind of moves her shoulders moves her lower body moves her hips and hopefully it's kind of a drill that's going to help you guys at home kind of get the feel for this in the golf swing so now we're going to take a look at lisa's head on the wardrobe so this is an example of how you can kind of practice keeping your head stable this is a huge thing you can do at home just to kind of get the right movements and the right sequence in. So let's take a look, Lisa. Show me what you do. So normal backswing, coming down, pushing the hips forward, extending the legs, keeping the head on the wall, turning, tilting the shoulder. So does this really help you get a different feel for the swing, Lisa? Yeah, it's really, it tries to keep my head stable, actually. Yeah. yeah. So what, what did this help you with in particular? Like what the feel for the hips, the shoulders, or both? 
So actually, if my head stable, I have to turn my hip more in yeah. order to hit the ball straight. Yeah. So it really helps kind of like to sequence these movements. So that's the kind of the view there. So you can see she's got the head on the wall, arms are hanging down. As she goes through here, she makes a normal back swing. She swings through to about parallel. She's extending her legs, pushing her hips forward and rotating. We'll take a look at this as well from the side view. She's got her normal arms hanging down. You can see how she kind of tilts her shoulders. She tilts her hips, her knee flex changes. And that really helps her kind of keep her head stable, keeps her inclination to the ground, helps her control her low point, helps her control her swing direction. This does a lot of things, this drill. It's really helped Lisa kind of develop the right feel in the goal swing. So we talked a bit there about the setup. We talked about kind of the body movement, the tilting, the turning. Now we can talk about how we kind of put this together and kind of how Lisa kind of practices. Uh, with a lot of my students, when they're trying to feel something different in their swing, we kind of have to break it down into kind of smaller swings. So now we're gonna talk about kind of how Lisa practices. So this is the 90-90 drill that Lisa uses when she practices. This is a kind of our go-to drill. Generally, I hold her head and she kind of gets this feeling for how her body moves in the swing. Now, we found that Lisa's speed is very good, but she needs to control the contact better. And especially as a new golfer, you've got to be able to control where that cup hits the ground and where you hit it on the face. So now we're going to talk about how Lisa kind of practices uh, in the practice sessions here in the Bay and also at the golf range. So let's take a look at how Lisa kind of works on a golf swing. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Lisa's drill. So. Generally, we work in the bay here, I'll hold her head position, so I'm just gonna make a backswing here, Lisa. So she's gonna make a kind of pretty much a normal backswing, maybe a little bit shorter than normal. However, when she comes through, if you just go through slowly, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. She goes through, keep going. Where are you gonna stop, Lisa? Stop. About arms parallel? Yeah. Okay, so Lisa's gonna stop about arms parallel. At this point, we're looking for the club to be pointing slightly upwards. We're looking at head to be stable, her hips forward. Now this is kind of the feel that she got with that head on the wardrobe, just trying to get the feel for the shoulders tilting, moving the hips forward, turning the body. She's also working on keeping her arms straight. We found that the arms bending was a result of where the club was going to hit the ground. In her original swing, her club was kind of hit behind the ball, so we worked on trying to keep her arms straight with this drill. So let's take a look. Okay, pretty awesome. How'd that feel? Uh, I think I feel my head more stable when you you yeah. holding this. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, unfortunately, I can't stand on every shot Lisa hits. So generally, when she practices, she kind of uses video. She gets the feel from kind of the head on the wall. Just really, just trying to practice. So so this is how we kind of get Lisa to practice, right? She has lots of practice swings, just very steady, pretty much normal back swing. She's stopping here, pretty much where her arms are parallel to the ground. So. How do you find this drill? Is it easy to do trying to stop that? It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, because it's you have to hit fast and then you have to stop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the challenge, right? You've got to put some speed in this and also stop pretty quickly. And that's the whole, the whole idea of this drill is to really sequence the movements. Let's have a look at one more practice swing. Okay, awesome. Okay, one more shot, Lisa, yeah? Okay. 90 90 drill. Okay, this time on your own, yeah? So I'm not going to hold your head. This is you doing the 90 90 drill in practice. That was awesome. Very impressive, Lisa. That was awesome. So she just hit that 110 meters, which is about 120 yards with a seven iron, doing the 90-90 drill. And this is someone that started goal four months ago, 10 lessons in. I think you've done an amazing job, Lisa. So well done. Thank you. First up, thanks to Lisa for letting me share her progress with you guys today. She's been an amazing student. Um, worked hard outside of lessons, practicing, always going to the golf range, uh, practicing at home, kind of working on these drills and it does really pay off. I think she's kind of made a massive transformation. I've, I know she helps her friends play golf now, which is amazing. It's, I'm, I think part of my job really is to not just get people to get better, but also to kind of educate them as well. And I think if she can understand the golf swing, she can help people as well. And I, I think, well done, Lisa. I'm really impressed Thank with your you. progress. It's my pressure. So final thoughts now, guys, from Lisa. Like how, like how have your experience here at Golf Tech, like kind of, is, was it what you expected, like learning golf? Actually, it wasn't, um, it's more than that, that I expected. Yeah. So like when the first time I come here, I didn't expect that I can swing after 10 lessons and then today I swing 120. Yeah. So like, um, yeah, I mean like when you- You were teach, surprised? 
yeah, a surprise. And then the way that you show me all my mistake, what I need to improve in my mm. technique. So I still remember there's one word that you you told me that I have to get the technique first before to yeah yeah to get better in golf. Yeah, so that is really true. Your technique's alright. <laughs> I think you're doing okay. After I training with you, <laughs> <laughs> you look at my that. first video again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you've got any comments on that, guys, obviously post them in the box below. Let me know what you think of Lisa's swing and ten lessons. I think she's done pretty well, to be honest. Okay. So I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. Thank you. And maybe we'll continue again and maybe do another video in a few months' time. Obviously, there's other things that we need to look at in terms of going out on the golf course. That's going to be the next step for Lisa to kind of head out there, try different clubs. We've got putting, chipping. There's lots of other stuff that we need to do. So we'll look at that in the future. So thanks again, Lisa. You're welcome. And I'll see you again next week for another video. Okay, can yeah. we take a look at that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god. What? You want to do that again? Yeah. You want to do that again? You think it's okay? I don't know. I'll do it again. What should yeah. I say? Huh? You don't have to say anything. Just laugh. Oh. Just, you can <laughs> laugh or whatever. You keep mentioning about my first swing. <laughs> Hmm? You can mention about my yeah, swing, it's so it's horrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the whole point. At your last instant, so yeah, see you in another week. I want to say you together say. together with you. <laughs> Can we do it again? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna say another video. Okay. At the same time. Okay. So I'll see you again next week for another, another video. video. Another video. Okay, okay. See you again next week for another, another video. video. And I'll see you again next week for another, another video. video.